Hi there. Welcome to my build of this 45 inch wingspan New Era 3 Revisited. Now in the last video I prepared all of the components or a lot of the components and now I'm going to start to build, at, well, lay out and build the wing. Right, well first things is to put the plan onto a board that I can pin into. I've stuck that down and I've put some plastic on the top just to protect the plans so that any of the glue that um, perhaps seeps through doesn't, uh, doesn't stick to the plans or stick my, stick my wing to the plans. So I've got my bottom spar here and that is going to sit on these pieces of quarter inch balsa. The spar itself is a quarter inch hard balsa and I've got my leading edge there which of course will need to be shaped I've got my top spar and I've got a bit of sheeting here which is for the underside trailing edge and that should go right there now the first thing we need to do is pin down this bottom spar here and these, as I said, are lifted up on these quarter inch pieces. They show three on the plans, but I've done a lot more than that, just to make sure it's well supported and doesn't sag. Now we can't just pin this straight down. We need to do this at an angle, because if it's pinned straight down the, like that, the ribs don't touch the sheeting. So it's actually pinned at an angle. So what we need to do is work out that angle and we'll get the ribs with the arrow pointing up and let's just move that, put that in the right place I'm not going to put all the ribs on at the moment I will just put a selection of them and then we can pin that down at an angle making sure that these are on the back there what I'm going to do to ensure that they're nicely down is I'm going to put a put a ruler on the back of them and just a little bit of weight just a, yeah, a little bit of weight like that and just slide that into position and then I can pin that to the board once I've got that pinned into place I will just adjust the sheeting on the back so it hangs over the 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 rear of the ribs by one eighth of an inch and that will give us the correct uh, uh, correct overhang if you like of the sheeting to join onto the top piece to get a nice joint so I'm going to get on now and set this out and we'll come back and have a look at it once it's done just spent quite a lot of time setting this out to make sure that everything is sitting perfectly with no tension, no ribs that are, are lifting up when they shouldn't be. The, the bottom spar here, I'll move those weights, the bottom spar here is sat on these lifts, these uh, quarter inch square pieces at the correct angle and, and they're not lifting up so it, you cannot spend too much time setting out like this. This is vital preparation in getting a good, straight, untwisted wing. I've got this straight edge here, which I've used to make sure that the top spar is perfectly straight, which it is. The bottom spar as well, you can line up with the top spar and also the plans which you need to check first uh, and make sure that's straight as well. I've measured the 1 8 at the back here so this sheeting hangs over 1 8 of an inch all the way along which is ideal. I've left this ruler on here just to provide a little bit of weight just to hold it and I've put those pins just to stop it slipping down. Now I've used as few pins as possible because obviously it leaves holes in the balsa which I'd rather not 
not that it will probably affect anything. <clears throat> now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go along and check each individual rib and C8 in place. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm using my blocks which are square and I'm putting them either side of the rib. I'm making sure the rib is lined up with the plans so the correct spacing and I'm putting the blocks to hold it in place and that will show me well give me a, a square rib. So I've now got I've got that one in place. I will just hold down to make sure it's it's secure the, the, the tail, the tip of the, the rib and I will CA that first and then I will CA these joints and I will go along and individually set up each rib, check its location, check its square, hold it in position and just CA it. To be honest I probably don't need to hold these but I will do anyway just to make sure that they're, they're just right. So I'm going to get on and glue this now and then I will get the front spar on once these weights are out of the way I will pin that on and, um, and CA that in place. I then need to think about some fillers where we're going to put the hinges let me just look at the plan on the wall there's three hinges one oh you can just see the markings here one two three so I need to put in a filler block here just to give the hinges something to bite into if I didn't I would just have the sheeting like that on top and it would just be hollow and there'd be nothing to hold the, uh, the, 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 the hinges. I'm going to be using mylar hinges on this. So I'm going to glue that now. Well we've got the basic skeleton of the wing, the right hand wing, finished now. I've got all of the wing, uh, the wing ribs CA'd nice and square into place and I've also put in the shear webbing that goes between every single rib all along the, the, the wing. Must remember when we do shear webbing to get the grain vertically so much stronger than if it went horizontally. I've also put in the leading edge here which will need shaping to, at the moment it's just a quarter by three eighths piece of balsa, it will need shaping to follow the contour of the rib before the sheeting can go on this, this front portion. I'll do that with my David plane uh, mostly and then I'll finish it off with a, a sanding stick but it needs to be off the board to do that. At the back end here I've put in the tapered pieces where the mylar hinges are going to go, the three mylar hinges just to give them more purchase and I've also used my sanding stick just to very carefully check that there's nothing proud here so that when I come to do the sheeting which I'm going to do next it that will sit down lovely and uh, th th there'll be nothing catching it underneath. I'm lining both these sheeting, both the ends of the sheeting here I'm lining them up with the centre line of the wing but of course we'll need to trim this top piece of sheeting eventually very very slightly just as we lift the wings up to join them together um, to put the dihedral in. There's a half inch dihedral uh, or a half inch lift at, at either end that cre creates the dihedral. So this will be just a little bit too long that we'll need to just sand that to fit. And the same with these spars here. We'll need to sand those to fit at the time. So we've got this finished like I say I'm going to CA that on there I need to trim these because I've left these a little bit too long I just feel more comfortable in having a little bit of excess that I can trim off once it's done so I will trim that off get this glued on and then we can take this off the board and get on and build our, our second second wing and then we'll think about profiling the, uh, the leading edge. Well, I've now got both the right and the left sort of wing skeleton finished and it's such a rewarding process. It, it comes together fairly quickly. This has probably taken me 
I don't know, three or four hours this morning sitting out and gluing up. And uh, like I say, it, it's great because it comes together really quickly and, and you can really start to see what the aeroplane's going to look like or imagine. So I, I've still got a lot of finishing to do. I've still got all this to sand. I've cut the excess off the spars and the leading edge and also this sheeting here because this is going to be where the wingtip goes. Uh, but I still need to, to sand that. These are still a little bit proud. Now, the last job I'm going to do in this video is just talk about the leading edge. And what I need to do is just bring the shape of the leading edge down to that, the profile of the, um, of the rib. And I'm just drawing very quickly on here. And that's, that's kind of the line that I, I, I need to produce. And that will then allow the sheeting to go on and nicely covering that, finishing on that leading edge. I can then put the ball nose on once I've got the sheeting stuck on. To bring that down to that shape, I'm gonna be using my David plane. So I'll just be very carefully going along. Be better if I hold it. very carefully going along and taking that down and uh, keep checking all, of, all the time and then I'll finish it off with my sanding stick once I get quite close. I want to be careful I don't catch the ribs with the, uh, the, the, the blade of the plane. So I think that's probably all I'm going to say for this video and I'll now get on and, and finish those, uh, those leading edges ready for the sheeting. And I need to have a think about what I'm going to do in the next video I'm either going to be I've, I've got one of three things really I've, I need to think about the servos and the servo placement and how they're going to fix so that may well be next before I start doing some of the the sheeting I think it's sheeted out to here and then the front is all sheeted I also need to do that sheeting but obviously I need to sort the servos first and then at some point I need to join the wings together and uh, with the correct dihedral, so setting that out so it's nice and uh, warp free. But I'll, uh, I'll have to think about that and I hope you'll subscribe and join me with the next video and, uh, and we'll see how this goes and, and <laughs> what's going to be the next job.